Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm going to welcome you to my channel, all my subscribers, all my triggers, peaches, lovers, haters, commenters, scallywags, each and every one of you, I want to welcome you to my channel. You know, yesterday I did my uh, Sunday morning classics as time goes by, so there's music, and I was part two of the artist, Prince. And uh, I know a lot of you around the world are not going to hear this block, you know, so anyway, but um, uh, it doesn't matter to me because keep it in mind that, you know, uh, any of these Sunday morning classics I'm doing, uh, it's not... Uh, monetized so I'm not making any money on it uh, if anything you know uh, if anything is made I hope it does go to the artist uh, or uh, whoever uh, has the rights to it but you know it was anyway anyway I was Rag Jamrock was one of my supporters who uh, came on it and uh, he said I'm sorry I was watching the breaking news and my my first instinct was breaking news what, did someone try to assassinate Trump? But then I caught myself. I said, oh, I said, I better not say that. And uh, that's what I told her, I, you know, on the, on the show, I said, oh, I can't say that. You know, and sure enough, it, that's what it was, that someone had tried to assassinate uh, the, the ex-president of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. You know, um, uh, he's a Republican, if, if, if that should make any difference. But then there was a survey that says, do you think it's a lone wolf or do you think it was a plot? <laughs> you know, um, you know, uh, and I said a lone wolf, but then I start thinking about, well, you know, it, he got pretty close enough where is that he could set up a shot to shoot the president. So someone fell asleep on their job or uh, someone, uh, um, um, uh, uh, turn their head, I guess, or whatever could could be. But it makes me wonder that's also a possibility. But I don't want to talk much about that. You know, uh, it, uh, sometimes it's funny. You know, uh, like when you know there's there's problems in paradise. What I mean by that is problems in a relationship. Uh, I was watching this couple, and um, uh, she got a text. And she showed it to her boyfriend. And then, you know, her boyfriend, you know, uh, uh, replied. And then what it was replied back. And so now he's replying back too. And I'm watching the expression on his girlfriend. His girlfriend is, is like, give me back my phone. Give me back my phone. <laughs> you know, which makes me wonder that, oh, the, <laughs> Uh, something may be discovered or something might be said that he may not have been aware of. So it, it was just kind of one of those moments that where I said, ah, <laughs> there, you know, there uh, might be problems in paradise uh, when it comes to those phones and everything. You know, me and I, we don't have those problems with, with, with the phones, you know. You know, uh, you know my, my Facebook, my, my whatever it is, is, my messages are always open, you know, for her to... Uh, um, to view or look at whenever she wants to, you know, so um, it doesn't bother me because, well, you know, for me, it's, it's easy to do the right thing, you know, um, you know, uh, there's some girls who, who reach out to me, what are you doing, or, or you know, or like this, and, and it's like, you know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, you know, uh, which is not carrying on a conversation with you that is meaningless because you know and then the next thing can i borrow no 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 so anyway so so but the point of the matter is is that the honesty is has always been the best policy i always believe that it's a lot easier to remember the truth than it is a lie so as far as her and i are concerned you know that aspect of it i know in the beginning you know you know uh, uh you know she might have been concerned about who I was texting with or whatever, but even in the beginning it didn't matter to me because, you know, whatever it was that I was talking to, whoever it was, you know, I was texting, it was explainable, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't no cloak and dagger type shit, you know, it, you know, it was just, 
you know, this is what the deal is. This is who she is. This is who she was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, uh, so just let it go with that, you know. And, you know, I, I have to admit that uh, sometimes it's, 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 see, I know women, you know, and it's, it's just a lot easier to, uh, to, you know, to squirrel, to squash things, you know, before, he, before it even happens, you know. And, um, and, and, that's, and, and that's the essence of our relationship, you know, and because of that, you know, I never am concerned about who's texting her or, or whatever it is for the simple reason is that it's in a foreign language, you know. In, in the beginning, I would say, look, you know, when you look at my phone, you may believe it's in a foreign language and you don't understand it because that, that's how it is with me with your phone. So that's why, you know, I just automatically just, yeah, I, I don't care what you text me. I, I really don't care. You know, I don't care, you know, you know uh, uh, what type of mind games or, or you know, uh, 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 what type of fun you may be having with someone on the phone. You know, it's, you know as, long as, as long as you don't get to the point where you're gonna walk out that door and you have to meet somebody or you're going to meet somebody. Like uh, there's um, uh, um, uh, a a couple I, w I was once around and you know and uh, his wife was in another room and, and him and I are laughing and and, and uh, she comes and says you know what do you, you know what are you two talking about and so I, <laughs> what do you mean what are we do? we're talking about men things you know there's nothing you know it didn't include you. You know, uh, uh, you know, and it, it just led me to believe that that maybe there might be some some concern about about her uh, about her husband. You know, you know, so you know there are little hints and little clues uh, when something is going wrong in a relationship or something is of concern in a relationship. You know, um, you know, uh, I, I know um, scheduling intimacy is in um, is. Uh, it's important to me, you know. Uh, I've had a, a lot of girls in my life, and and you know, I've, I've had a lot of girls who I've disappointed in my life, you know. <laughs> you know, I have a, I've, there's been a lot of girls who I ran from. So look, baby, don't waste your time. You know, one of those types of things. So coming to the Philippines, you know, it was it was like a matter of selection. It was a matter of finding the right the right kind of girl, you know, uh, uh, the right built in a girl. You know that is going to, you know who, um, uh, uh, who was it? Um, uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Sylvia Hawkins, who wrote a song. Damn, I wish I was your lover, and she says, uh, "You're the only shoe that fits." I hope you. I never. You, you never. Grow, we never grow tired of it, and and you know that's that. That's what I did. You know, I went through a selection of of, of girls. Until I found the type of girl that uh, that totally satisfied me, you know, one one that 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 uh, that um, that arousement was was um, uh, was not an issue because you know I, I was satisfied, I was happy, and you know, and now the thing about being in a relationship. Is that I know you don't think about it when you get into a relationship. It's the schedule intimacy. Okay, look, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, we gonna do it every Friday. We do it every Saturday. We gonna do it like this or whatever, you know. And um, you know, my thing was that, you know, like I said, no three, no three days should pass, you know, without having sex. You know, you know, four maybe, you know, four, you know, I, I start, you know, shaking. <laughs> I start going through withdrawals. Because that's how I want to live the last part of my life, you know. You know. I, you know. I want to live the last part of my life being sexually fulfilled, you know. And uh, uh, that's something that that uh, that me and I have a contract with, and it, it's a contract that that we both, you know. Uh, she asked me, uh, no, I asked her, you know, uh, uh, what is it you like about me? And she said, because you give me everything I want. I said, yes. And why do I give you everything you want? And <laughs> of course, she doesn't know how to answer. I said, because you give me everything I want. 
you know, and fair exchange has never been a robbery kind of thing. It's also a good gauge, you know, to uh, 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 to monitor your, your relationship as far as, you know, uh, you, you know how's it going? You know, if, if, if you're with someone, sure, in the beginning, you know, uh, uh, Sade wrote a song, it's never as good as the first time. And, you know, over a period of time, you know, it, it kind of dwindles down or, or you fewer, fewer or, or whatever, you know. I always said, if, if, you know, if, if you show me the most beautiful girl in the world and I will find you, I will show you a guy who's tired of having sex with her, you know. And, but if you have a commitment to each other and, and the way is that, okay, this is what we're going to do, you know, to, um, to fulfill my needs. I know when I was with my uh, Ukrainian girl, uh, we had we had an arrangement that um, she was absolutely you know unbelievable. You know she knew her body so well that that uh, she knew when it was time when I could ejaculate inside of her. You know, and uh, I, I never knew a woman like that. But uh, we had agreement that um, that that I won't take Viagra as long as uh, <laughs> you never say no. Whenever, whenever I was in the mood, you know, and and it worked out fine, you know, you know that that was our arrangement, and that's what we did, you know, and um, um, you know, uh, having that type of arrangement with a woman is, is very rare, you know, because a lot of men don't think that that far out in a relationship that you know, okay, you know, we got married, yeah, remember when we used to do it, you know, uh, you know, three times a week or four times a week, now we do it once a month. You know, that's because, you know, you didn't have an arrangement with her, you know, you, you know, if, you know, and like for me, the most easiest thing a woman can do is lay down on her back, you know, you know what I'm saying? And, and give you five minutes, you know, or 10 minutes or, you know, or whatever. But uh, um, so um, whenever it goes to the point where it's really outside that when you're walking around mad and frustrated and and she's always, you know, too busy or whatever to do something, and that, then, you know, that's when problem happens. You know, you, you know that, you know, that's when frustration comes in. You know, I always tell the story that the, the most perfect relationship is when, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, she might get up in, uh, in the morning and she stamps her foot on the floor, and go boom, like this, and you go, what's wrong, baby? And she says nothing. And say okay, you know, and then later, uh, as it goes on, she's slamming drawers, boom, slamming doors, boom. What's wrong? Something's wrong with you, you know. You know, where's all this hostility coming from? But if she's honest, she might say to you, "Baby, look, sit down. I love you like my next breath, but I'm not getting." <clears throat> And it's driving me crazy. So you have to say, oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. What do you want to do about it? Do you want to take your wedding ring off and go out for one night? Uh, 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 do you want to, you know, you want me to come and, and we can get involved in something that where is that, you know, can, can, can scratch that itch? You know, what do you want to do about it? And then whatever it is that, you know, you know, she decides or you decide. At least, you, at least she's bringing up, you know, what is missing. There's something missing. There's something she's not getting, you know. But the only problem with that is, is that one day you might get up. You might get up and slam your foot on the floor. You might get up and, you know, slam the, the bedroom door. Boom. And, and she might say, what's wrong? Why are you slamming the doors? And it's nothing. And then, you know, you go to the day and he's dragging chairs across the floor. <laughs> and says, so tell me, baby, something's wrong. What's, what's bothering you? And he might say, baby, I love you like my next breath within a breath. But I'm not getting, mm, and it's driving me crazy. And... You know, you might say, well, what I'm missing, baby, you know, I want a big, fat ass, and I want 
a woman with big tits one time, you know, I, I'm missing that. And I, you know, I want to scratch that itch. And then you make a decision on how you're going to scratch that itch. So this way you two can go on to your next seven year itch. You know, I, you know, I remember I had, I had this sister. This sister, her name was Cookie. I worked at Ford Motor Company. Cookie was the most baddest peach in the whole place. I mean, my God, Cookie was the shit. You know, she 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 was like Cleopatra Jones. <laughs> and I worked in trim, and she, and uh, uh, she would put the back window on, and then I would be inside the car, and I would pull the string to make the suction of the rear window suck onto the frame of the car. And then she had this like glue that she would lean against the window and squirt it all around the window and seal it. So for eight hours, all I did was look at them titties pressed up against the window like that, like that. And man, it was wild. To make a long story short, Cookie and I ended up having a relationship. We ended up going out together. And it was such a mixed match that people, we couldn't tell people that we were going together. We always said that we were one another's cousins. And uh, because it, people just couldn't believe, you're going with him? <laughs> you know, you're doing him? <laughs> you know, like that. But Cookie was so hot that whenever I made love to her, you know, I would go in the bathroom first. I would go in the bathroom first. And Lolo. <laughs> if you don't know what Lolo means, I would go in the bathroom first and masturbate. You know, get that first nut out the way. So I could go in there and make love to Cookie that would last longer because I was just so, so excited about her. But after we'd make love, she would sit on the end of the bed and she would just be shaking. Shaking. And you know, you know, you know, I you know, I wasn't stupid enough to know what was what was wrong with her. She still had that itch that had to be scratched. You know? And so, you know, um, um we stayed together for a while and you know, uh, I know she knew this one dude named Seymour that that uh you know he was probably pounding her every now and then, something like this or whatever. But the way the relationship ended was because she had two teenage daughters. And her father and kids didn't want to take care of them no more and wanted her to take care of the kids. So she came to me and asked the draw, can my daughters live with us? I said, hell no. Hell no. No, they can't live with us. You know, because uh, you know, I wasn't about to get mixed up or live with three girls like this and so as a result the relationship ended and when it ended I told her what do you want you want the car I had, I had a 72 Lincoln Continental Mark V or she want the apartment she chose the car I kept the apartment to make a long story short two weeks later I went to see her in Jersey City and the car was up on blocks I just put a new engine in it so I broke my heart but the point of the matter of what 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 I, I'm saying is that you know you have to have someone who's going to fulfill your needs, going to give you what you want, you know. And 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 as Prince said in one of his songs, uh, what he says, um, uh, um, I want someone. Uh, I I don't want to be alone. I need someone. Uh, uh, it's going to do it till the job gets done. You know what I'm saying? And that's the beautiful thing about Mia. You know, you know, Mia, for me, stays till the job gets done, and it's it, it's wonderful. And a lot of times I might be in a mood. And, uh, okay, okay, you you've tried, and, 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 and you know it's and, you know, let, let, take a break, and, and you know, she straps on her Superwoman costume. <laughs> Outfit is no, we're gonna do this, and she does it. You know, you know she she fulfills me. And and excuse me, you know I'm not about to let that go. I'm not gonna 
about to let a woman who's going to stay till the job gets done. You know, you know, and, and you know, believe you me, I've had a number of them say, ah, 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 it won't work. Ah, ah, ah. But no, you know, and that's why I'm going to keep it. That's why I'm not going to let it go. Because uh, why ever long I am able to, you know, uh, uh, have sex, you know, I'm going to have with one woman and I found that one woman and I wish you the same but believe you me you need a contract get that contract how often that you and her agree you know to, to, have, to schedule that intimacy and stay on track it's just that simple stay on track with your intimacy all right this is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans away. Action never disrespect the ugly or throw someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see it. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Holly Woodson, former lead singer of Temptation, once some treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make her feel like a king. And remember, never say no. And what on what other note? I posted a video on Saturday about a couple, you know, uh, that were having some hardship. This foreigner who was having a severe hardship, you know, and uh, 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 I guess it got too personal. That whereas that some people felt in her family that you know, you know, take it down, take it down, and uh, so I did. So you missed out on that one. For those of you who were able to see it, because it was like getting quite a few views, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so with that being said, remember, I always love you more. Oh, let me give you a 360 where I'm at. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting in uh, like a little uh, a gazebo. You can see the top of it there. But I'm sitting here by the water. You can see the water. Uh, this, that's Dumaguete down there. Uh, uh, that's the Blue Hornet. <laughs> and over there is, um, I think that's Apple Island. I don't know. No, that's City Whore. That's City Whore over there. And over there is Cebu. So let me give you a little 360 turn here. And you can come, you can see the community at where I'm at. Okay? So this is Gerard. I'll talk to you later. Love you like a love song, baby. Peace.